YouTube, what is the deal? It is your boy Valandis, and today we are talking about mobile iPhone or if you have an Android, just mobile photography in general. I usually just use my phone for going on the internet, looking at my social media, and I take pictures on my phone, but not like serious photos that like I would use to post on social media. I use it for like Snapchat or Instagram stories or just to film myself singing to songs. But I have never thought about taking my phone and actually using it for photography until today. So not too long ago, I reached out to Moment. Well, I didn't reach out to them. I tagged them in the tweet that I was tweeting to my followers. I said, yo, do y'all think Moment would want to work with your boy and do some shit out here in Detroit? I honestly didn't expect them to respond. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I just, I just be talking on there. So I think it's very easy to make a... Uh, picture of something beautiful like a beautiful landscape or a beautiful waterfall or just anything beautiful I think it's very easy to like not make that beautiful so I reached out to them and told them that I wanted to shoot around Detroit and just like capture Detroit culture and the essence of the city but anyway the 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 basis of this video today is just gonna be me going around Detroit my neighborhoods and, and see if I could capture good quality photos just using my phone. I'm happy to see the results and I'm just happy to do it. So I'm about to go out with just my phone. Clearly I'm gonna take this camera to document it, but I'm not gonna use this camera to take any photos today, it's just video. So anyway, y'all sit back, you know what I'm saying? Get some snacks and let's go on this journey together because what I get from this is gonna be my first look and my first take on it. So it'll be y'all first look and first take too. So um, let's see what it is, man. Also, I think it's, I think it's snowing outside, so maybe that might make for some some dope shit. I'm gonna go around and just document like local restaurants and um, just the streets, man. I might, I actually might go downtown just to see uh, what these lenses can do and what they're capable of downtown. Probably link up with one of my friends, get some portraits because I do have the um, 58 millimeter tele lens. So yeah, man, let's see what it is. Down, let me get a lint brush. It's cold as hell out here, as always. Let me get out the street before I get hit. But we are out here. First location. It's not really a location. We're just driving around, just trying to see some shit to shoot. So I'm about to just shoot this street and see because I don't know. The light on this street is really dope. We're using Moments. Moments. Um, we're using Moments app. Which is really cool because you can shoot in raw. I've never shot in raw before, so I actually don't know how that's gonna work. But you can adjust the ISO and you can adjust shutter speed and autofocus and white balance and shit. So we're about to, I'm about to see how this shit's gonna look. I like that sun. this telephone pole oh, where is this like uh like no some type of utility pole let me get a photo of you so anyway my main focus with the photos is to see if you can take decent looking photos but because anybody can make something beautiful look good like a waterfall or goddamn just any beautiful landscape it can look good regardless of the gear you're using not no nah, that's not to say that you know you still have to anyway y'all know what i'm saying but my my main thing with this is to be because since i live in the, in detroit and the streets my thing is i want to see if i could turn something that's not considered beautiful into decent looking pictures or just like things that are beautiful to me but not beautiful to, to everyone still look like an interesting photo or beautiful so that's my whole goal with today's video and testing this lens out so far i'm very impressed though so yeah get back in the car because it's cold as fuck and i didn't wear shoes today <laughs>
really want to go in here with the brakes on. Your feet cold? They all right. Should I really go in? I don't know, but I feel like, I mean, they're fine for now, but I feel like if I step in the snow, right. it's going to fall. I don't, I'm doing it. I was going to even see Hey! <laughs> Oh, nigga, we at Coney Island. Coney Island is pretty much a diner in Detroit that means a lot to a lot of people because good cheap food. Yeah. Put it on camera. camera. <laughs> <laughs> you could, uh, it's on YouTube. What's the name? You got a uh, piece of paper? I'll watch it too. Okay. <laughs> Picture? A picture? Yeah. Let me take a picture of you. <coughs> Belandis. Yeah. A portrait studio? Alright, I'm gonna do it through the glass. Hold on, wait. Let me get this. Let me get my shit together. <laughs> I heard this song yet. I heard it so crazy. Hold on, my, 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 uh. You chilling in here for a minute? Yeah, we can. All right, cool. You want his face? You want out your face? Uh, there you go. Uh, well, Y'all got guns in there? Oh, man, come on, man. Not no, we not. <laughs> okay. We just survived. Like, you know, I hope your dreams come true with you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. you want a large what? A large, uh, high C. Lots of cash. Cardo. Ay, ay, everything okay. Lots of cash. Lots of cash. Lots of cash. Like old old men. They're always like staring at me. And it's not like in a ooh like way, but it's like a what are you? Wait. Damn, this snow really I'm about to say stand on the ledge, but nigga, please don't. <laughs> it's so fucking hot in here. I can't take it. I'm like sweating.
the jet on backwards for a second. Yeah. I was gonna cry. So, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. All right, what up? Today we're talking about iPhone photography. iPhone photography is not something that I'm necessarily familiar with because I was never a person to use my phone for taking pictures. But after going out and seeing what I could accomplish and the pictures that I could get with these lenses and this phone, this shit has changed my mind dramatically. So, and being able to shoot in RAW via iPhone is by far the biggest game changer of all time. So let's talk pros of iPhone photography and these lenses and just the things that I found with this uh, project or whatever. So, so number one is convenience. You always have your phone with you, no matter what, no matter where you are, no matter where you go, you have your phone on you. These things are so small, there is nothing to carry these in like a little pouch. You can even put them in your pocket if you wanted to. Sometimes you go to concerts, they don't allow you to bring big ass DSLRs in there like this one. So being able to bring your phone in there and still being able to get like quality pictures is crazy. You can shoot raw. Raw is like the biggest game changer. You can push shadows and highlights and all type of shit. The dynamic range on an iPhone is fucking ridiculous. I feel like nobody ever talks about how crazy that the dynamic range is on iPhone. And it's crazy to me that iPhone can get crazy dynamic range, yet Canon has yet to fix the dynamic range shit with their fucking 5Ds and all that. But that's besides the point. That's not what we're talking about right now. But um, being able to adjust ISO and shutter speed and white balance within the app is crazy as well. Going out, I spent this whole weekend only taking pictures with my phone. I didn't even bring, like, well, clearly I brought this camera to like take videos and shit like that, but I didn't even bring my Canon. I left my Canon at home. That shit didn't even make it in my camera bag. I've only been going out with just my phone and um, these lenses and I'm honestly in, and super, I'm super impressed. Another pro is that the the case that comes with it is super dope, it's super slick, super sleek, and I'm not gonna take it off my phone. Whether I'm using the lenses or not, I'm not taking this case off my phone because it looks really good, it feels good in hand, and it's just really dope. The cons that I have for iPhone photography is honestly nothing. Like there's nothing bad I can say about taking pictures with your phone now that I've actually went out and done it. Clearly shooting with your iPhone has cons. One being is that it's not a DSLR. It'll never produce DSLR images because it's not a DSLR. I said that there were no cons because knowing that your phone is a phone and still being able to get quality, decent looking images out of it, that's why I was putting it up there with no cons because you really can't complain from what you're getting from your phone. Um, especially me because I thought phone photos sucked for the longest time. So that's why I was saying there was no cons to it, but clearly there's, clearly there's cons, but... I can't complain, so that's why there's no cons to me. I think that if one, you don't have the money to buy a DSLR, it is a good alternative. I think that two, um, if you don't really want a DSLR and you, you still wanna take pictures, but you, you're you not that into photography, this is also good for you. I think three, it's um, more incognito, more like low key than a DSLR. Like I could take pictures of all type of shit and people and wherever, because a lot more people are, like when people see this shit, they're like, you know, they get weird. Moment, they didn't pay me to say anything. Like they didn't pay me at all. I honestly reached out to them and asked. I just wanted to test out the lenses to be completely honest. And they didn't pay me to say any of this. I could have got on here, hated it. I would have told y'all that I fucking hated it, but I don't, I think it's great. I think it's amazing. And these lenses, they're, they're nice. Like these are some nice quality built lenses. These, these are more quality than some of the lenses that I've had on my cameras, like back in the day. The best camera that you can have is the one that's on you. And if you always have a camera on you, always have a camera on you, then there's no there's no excuse. There, there's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, leave, leave a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, all that other stuff that comes along with it. And um, yeah, thank y'all for watching, man.